A special performance during this Pride Month. The New York City Gay Men's Chorus will sing at Carnegie Hall on the eve of a momentous anniversary. I would just use reporter Lauren Glassberg has more on the message in their music. For 40 years, the New York City Gay Men's Chorus has been inspiring resilience and offering community through song. Just know you're not alone. And now they'll honor those who paved the way for pride. On the eve of the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, this chorus will take the stage at Carnegie Hall. Just do that again, because I'm gone now. One, two. Charles Beale will lead the chorus through some more recognizable songs. The first half is about light and joy, really. And then the second half features a new commissioned work called Quiet No More. Eight movements from six different LGBTQ composers. Julian Hornick is one of them. The parameters that were set were cover everything from the morning after the riots through basically uh, marriage equality. So, you know, like kind of like the extent of everything. <laughs> Julian graduated from Yale where he focused on LGBTQ history. He continued his research to write the song we walked. We gathered on Christopher Street. I heard it for the first time, and it was, I mean, it's, it's mind boggling. It was just walloped with this wall of sound from all of these men, and it was, I mean, it's insane. Many of the songs, the lyrics, the subject matter are emotional and provocative. Audience members can expect to tear up, as many of the singers already have. I mean, we make people cry, that's what we do, we touch them. I was actually unprepared for the extent to which the music would really touch the singers. And for Quiet No More, 300 members of LGBTQ choruses from around the country will join the New York City Gay Men's Chorus on stage, a choral community connecting for a very important milestone.